Welcome to the introduction to Bridge24. In this example, we're going to be using uh, the Asana connector, but you can connect uh, Trello Basecamp Race Project through the managed connections here. All the connectors work in a similar fashion. Here's the left panel, and this is the filters area where we have predefined filters. For example, here are filters by team, uh, all tasks from all projects, non-allocated projects. We have tags and also projects you can click on one at a time or just all the tags, tasks that are tagged. Uh, you can also create your own filter in the create your own filter area. Be sure if you want to retrieve completed tasks to click here on both and then you can select your projects or your sections or tags uh, to the other parameters. So we'll just click on one here. In the grid itself, we're able to take column headers and move the location to display the way that you desire. It is also possible to open up new columns and remove as well as put in the sort order. As well, we can group by the columns by clicking the column header into the grouping area and as well do subgroups as well so let's take the assignee for example and here we are with the different sections and these can be saved as different views there's also a calendar feature so we're able to go to the calendar and see the different tasks and we can modify the dates of the tasks directly and of course any task in any of the different modes we can click on and edit the task and its information and it will update automatically in Asana. So let's go back to the grid and again click on any task you can edit as well from any of you. So let's take one project for, for an example and when you have one project selected you're able to actually do a board which is a Kanban board representation and we can collapse and open sections and we can also edit drag and drop to a different column and as well edit from here from a project as well or from any filter we can create charts there these charts are predefined and we're able to move the charts we're able to uh, show a legend or not. We can remove sections from the chart. We can also drill down so you can select a section and we're able to see the tasks in question where we can edit as well directly. We can also open them in grid and we can export to the PDF and this time we'll export with the tasks. So it's the PDF uh, image with the legend and the associated tasks below in each section. We can also create the reports. So we'll click on reports here for the displayed tasks. And we have simple reports and what are called advanced task reports or two level grouping. So a simple report is just a report with the task name below each uh, group and advanced report let's try a report by section and we can that's the first levels by section and we can select a second level and make it by assignee for example uh, with subtasks or not and we're able to choose four supplemental columns to add into the report so let's generate the report So here's our information and we're able to export to PDF or directly to Excel. Let's go back to the grid. So at any time you can also export this information. So the grid information here or from the calendar, you can just click export. And we have a lot of uh, parameters that you can choose. So from your view, so you can actually change the column headings to where you want and then export in that view or just all information, all fields. We can also have uh, add 
subtasks. So if you want a simple report, it's just a field with a subtask. If you want a full report, it's each task is is each row. And export. And this will create, in this case, an Excel file. If you need any additional help, you can go to the top right here, and that's where your profile is to manage your account or upgrade to premium, or have an organizational account where you can add multiple users into your uh, account, and you can search out help and videos from the About section. Thank you very much.